experimental psychologist and I do behavioral research. So I'm not looking at the brain, I'm watching how people actually behave, but we're doing that in a controlled setting in the laboratory typically. So we bring people in and we set them set up the circumstances so that we can control a lot of variables so that when we see an effect, we know where that effect is coming from, that it's coming from our manipulation, not something that hasn't been controlled. Our research is very much quantitative research as opposed to qualitative research. And that's important for what we're interested in because we're interested in studying how the mind works. And one thing we do know from research in psychology is that we often think we understand what's going on with our mind when we don't. So people's introspections, that is, when they think about their thinking, their metacognitions, are actually typically not very accurate. So an example of that would be when you are um, studying for an exam, students have this sense that they know the material, and a lot of times they don't. And we can do that in a very controlled way in the laboratory and we get the same kind of results. We are using experiments, so we bring people into the laboratory and they get randomly assigned to one group or another. And that way, if we find a group difference, so we have one group that does an experimental condition, another does a control condition, by doing that, using random assignment, means that if there's an effect of that manipulation, it must be due to the manipulation because we are randomly assigning people to those different groups. My current project is a, a large ongoing project that looks at perspective memory in young and older adults. And perspective memory is something that's very important in our daily lives. We need to remember to take medication. We need to be able to remember to turn off the stove. These are all things that are really important for living independently as we age. But perspective memory is also important when we're younger, remembering to do the assignment that's due for class the next day. But it's also important in our social relationships. So if you are in a relationship with somebody and they ask you to please go by the store and buy some milk and you always forget to do what they ask you, they're gonna get really upset with you. So you need to be able to remember these things at work and in school, living independently. So it's a big part of our daily lives. One of the interesting findings that we have going on right now has to do with the effect of context on our perspective memory performance. So imagine, for instance, you have to stop um, on the way home at the store and buy some milk because your boyfriend or girlfriend asked you to do that this morning. When you're doing that path home, you know where the store is on that drive, and you can anticipate when that opportunity to stop and perform that task is gonna happen. And what we've done in our laboratory is we've created stimuli by taking photographs as if you're walking around campus, and we have people do a task with those photographs, and we tell them, oh, and remember when you see the bookstore that you need to buy test forms. And so we give them this errand, and we have these photographs, and we can show them in a way that it makes it look as though they're walking around campus. Or we can show the photographs all mixed up, so they don't know where, when the bookstore is going to appear. And we find a benefit for the people who can anticipate when they're getting close to that target location relative to people who can't anticipate that. So we found that with young adults. We've done a different study that involved young and older adults but in this one, we're not using those photographs because the older adults aren't familiar with campus, and so we can't use that kind of stimuli. Instead, we use a different kind of stimuli where there are numbers, and you know that the target event is gonna occur, for instance, between 20 and 25. So you use that contextual information to help support the perspective memory task. What we find for our young adults in that case is they see a benefit from that context, the way they did with the ordered pictures. The older adults aren't showing that same effect. And so that's something that's a real puzzle. And that's gonna be our whole next set of research is to try to figure out why that puzzle occurred.